doing some damage. He's keeping the pressure on, which is good. He's not spending his gas, and Negative Edge has been much better about spending his gas on high-tech units like the Colossus and the upgrades, which might bite him in the ass later. But he's, he's doing good damage, he's keeping the stalker count low, which is pretty important. Um, but with the continued pressure, he's still not building more drones. So uh, Negative Edge is getting close to getting mined out. We'll see, we'll see if he can keep up the pressure or not. But yeah, with the Colossus out there, it's probably a good idea to pull back. Trobe has got a lot more Lings coming out, but they won't really be that good against the Colossus. And he hasn't really invested a whole lot, like, he's not getting upgrades, he's still on a hatchery tech. Neither side, I mean, Drobe hasn't teched up at all, Negative Edge is on pretty healthy tech. Oh, some Lings got picked off. But uh, with the, the Zealot, Soccer, and Colossus, Negative Edge should be safe to expand. It's a late expand, he's got a shitload of money he needs to spend, but they're still on even supply. Um, Drobe has started mining out of the third, but just barely, really. Um, I can't stress this enough. You guys really got to remember to transfer your workers to your new expansions, or else they're pretty much never going to get saturated. Um, he still hasn't taken this this uh, Vespine geyser. Not that he needs it, because he's, he's got so much gas backed up. Nope. Yep, so Negative Edge has broken the contain and is moving out. And yeah, he's deciding to pull back with his Lings and Roaches, letting Negative Edge set up the expansion. Which is kind of a shame. I mean, he could have taken way more advantage of that contain than he did. But, you know, whatever. So now we got a whole bunch of stuff just massing in the middle. And he's in kind of a tricky position, because with roaches and lings, you can't really move in to attack this area very easily when he's got, you know, zealots and a colossus and a bunch of stalkers. And he's sticking to roach ling. He hasn't gotten any upgrades. Got an evo chamber going, so he can start researching the basic upgrades and getting more roaches. Um, he's also almost gotten his layer tech, so he'll be able to move up, but it's a little bit late. And supply-wise, Protoss has actually overtaken um, Zerg. The, the difference is mostly in workers. And, uh, yeah. Working on the rocks, they can set up a third. Meanwhile, we've got a bunch of roaches and a, little, a few lings. Starting on that, that melee weapons. Or, I guess it's just melee attacks. Zerg don't really have weapons. Just <laughs> so by now, Negative Edge is, you know, he's, he's running out of stuff at his first base, but his second is almost saturated, still hasn't taken the gas. And his third is going down. Um, so he's building up, he should be building a pretty healthy economic lead. Zerg is actually ahead in Econ because he just pumped out a whole bunch of drones, that's good. Um, but Negative Edge still has more gas, which is useful, especially for a Pro Protoss armies are really gas heavy. They are gassy. And we have more Colossi going down. Colossi are a bitch to kill, man. I mean, they're armored, and I don't think they, I think they've got like built-in one armor or something. Yeah, so they actually don't take that much damage for the amount of money you spend on them, but it's just, they're, they're usually out of harm's way. And especially, like, both roaches and lings are pretty short range. Okay, so he's, he's found that, that, that uh, third base and is working on the rocks with some lings. And the Overlord goes pop. Hmm. Got a bunch of roaches just chilling here. And the, the Protoss death ball has started. More roaches. Finally taking the, uh, the gas geysers at his third. Let's see what he's spending his money on. Yeah. Oh, he's got hydras now. That'd be more useful if, if uh, Negative Edge was going air, I think. Colossi just kind of go to town on hydras, as far as I can tell. Because they can outrange them, and Colossi have a damage bonus to light. I thought they did. Maybe they don't. Huh. Wow, this whole time I thought that Colossi had a damage bonus to light. You know. That's cool. I think Hydras still get fucked up by Colossi, though. We're on roughly even supply, getting eight Hydras, or five Hydras, eight Overlords, and Burrow. So plus one attack. Upgrades are good, you should get them.
just watching some StarCraft. stuff. Overlord's getting picked off. Yeah, you know, usually if you want to scout with Overlord, you should get Overlord speed or else you're not really going to be able to see shit. Alright, Protoss ball moving out. You can see all this stuff here. Pretty much probably just going to murder it all. And picking off Overlord's Drobe is smart and realizes that he can't really hang with his army. So he's decided to build 44 Zerglings and a Nidus network. That's, that's an interesting call. Meanwhile, negative edge dropping down the uh, proxy pylon. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the awkward part about rallying units from bases all across the map, is that they end up just running around all over the place. And more often than not, getting killed. Yeah, now we have a pretty big ball. Unfortunately, the, the Zerg ball is rather low tech. Which I don't really get, because he's got a whole lot of money to spend. Where's the other night that's going down? Alright, picking off an overlord, that's cool. Probably gonna put that Nidus like right here or something. Oh, it's loading up. But where, and and uh, negative edge is getting blink, plus one armor. Where is that other Nidus worm? Ah, oh, here it is. Just see this dude start vomiting shit out. Which will hopefully make negative edge have to pull his army back. He's gonna he's going for the forge. He's gonna try and take out a bunch of tech structures. Meanwhile, the army's moving back as quickly as he can. Oh, is he gonna get the robo? That'd be nice. Oh, but zealots are in the mixing it up, and the lings are just kind of mostly getting burnt. Yeah, that actually didn't do a whole lot of damage. Wasted opportunity, really. Meanwhile, we're building up more roaches and hydras. This Nidus is just vomiting up lings. That's a gross, man. Got a whole bunch of stalkers here. Yeah. Now that the toss has like four colossi out at least, that's kind of an build that's getting pretty close to an unstoppable death ball, especially if your army is all ground. Right? He's got a roach ling um hydra. Doesn't really lend itself well to uh taking out Colossi. You need corruptors. Um Particularly, uh, spires in general are nice to have, but corruptors also are just great because late game you can morph them into brute lords. So you can pick off all the colossi and then turn them into something that picks off the rest of the ground army. Also, you can't really run away very easily with hydras if they're off creep, so whatever attack you do, you're kind of committed to it. And the Protoss ball is moving out. I expect this will be something close to a 1A to victory. I realized, I was, I was watching a Husky and Day9 cast the AHGL finals between, I think it was Zynga and Microsoft, and I noticed that they're really good at trying to keep things like interesting and hype, even when it looks like it's just going to be kind of a one-sided ass beating. And I mean, the guys who are playing in this league are good enough that it doesn't, it isn't always a one-sided ass beating, but I mean like... I hope he's taking his gold expansion. I mean, they, they don't really say shit like, oh man, this dude's totally going to get a beat. Because, you know, otherwise the audience doesn't really want to watch it. But I don't give a shit, because well, there's only about like 15 of you guys watching these anyway. So I have no obligation to keep you hype at all. We've got a bunch of drones moving out. Oh, he's mined out of his main, so he start th he's dropping a fourth base. Spire. Okay, we got a spire going. Maybe start to see some corruptors. Sell it legs and armor two going down, as well as missile attacks number one. We're seeing all kinds of upgrades up in here. And this shit is happening again. A whole bunch of stuff is moving out. I don't know where it's moving out to. It's probably going to go after this base, I'm guessing. Or just go straight to the middle. Alright, another Nidus attack. Let's see how it does. The entire Protoss ball is... Oh, he just warped in six stalkers. Yeah, that's... He doesn't even have anything coming out of there. I mean, that's cool. It didn't, it didn't kill this end, so he's not going to lose anything. But that, that would have been kind of a neat fake out. He just got everything to move here, and then came in and killed the gold. I'll do that shit sometimes. Not with Zerg. I, I play Terran. 
So I'll do shit like have an empty medevac fly over here and drop, or maybe like drop one marine. And their entire ball goes over here and I go pick off an expo. Feels really good when you get it. But other times I just lose that medevac and feel like a dick. And these five colossi are just going to walk up and start fucking shit up because they don't have to walk around like everything else. And it totally doesn't matter. Because they can kite roaches off creep pretty easily. But now he's going to wait for everything else to show up. And Protoss is max. Zerg is 20 away from max. Zerg is also building an infestation pit. He has the spire, but he's not really using it for anything yet. We just got a whole bunch of shit over here. Right. Casting StarCraft 2, I realize, can be frustrating sometimes. Not from, because of the level of the of ability, you guys. Um, you guys are doing fine. But because I can see everything, and I realize that when you're playing the game, you can't see everything. So really, this game could be about like 10 minutes shorter if Negative Edge had just scouted and realized that Drove didn't have shit that was going to stop a ball of six Colossus. The Colossi. And it said drove GG. Sweet. Good game, guys. So Negative Edge takes it 2-0, and we'll be playing Wolf Team in the, uh, I guess it's the semifinals. Something like that. It's a round of four, whatever you want to call it. Keep. Thanks for watching. Take it easy, guys.